I'm William Curley, uh, Patissier Chocolatier. So today we're going to make some Guinness and blackcurrant truffles, one of my favourites. We have Toscana 70% chocolate, we have some fresh whipping cream, muscovado sugar, blackcurrant puree, unsalted butter, and of course a can of Guinness. Give it a mix, then we bring it to the boil. What we're trying to do here is you've got the, the roasted barley notes with the Guinness and in the chocolate we're using the Toscano 70. It's quite malty notes to it. So again, you're getting all these sort of wonderful flavours, rich, deep, smooth, elegant, all, all coming through. Start to mix together. And really what we're now starting to do is to form an emulsion. Nice and smooth and silky. The filling is what you call a ganache. And a ganache, bizarrely, in French, translates as an idiot, which, uh, like in all great French kitchens, there's a great story for everything. But effectively, the young chef with a bowl of cream bumped into the head chef with a bowl of chocolate. And when they collided, the cream went into the chocolate. And the head chef, called the young chef, a ganache, a fool. However, he was no fool because once the head chef mixed together the cream and chocolate, it created a beautiful emulsion. So once everything's emulsified and it's nice and smooth, we'll then put it to the side for a couple of hours and allow it to firm up. So the ganache is now starting to firm up. It's a perfect consistency to pipe. So we take a couple of scoops. So the ganache bulbs are now ready. We're going to put them in a cool, dry place for one to two hours. So to temper the chocolate, what we're going to do is we're going to take two thirds of this dark chocolate and we're going to pour it on to the granite slab. This chocolate is somewhere between 45 and 50 degrees Celsius. We want to cool it down, but then we're going to put it back into the porringer pot. and warm it back up to something between 32 and 34 degrees Celsius and that will give us our tempered chocolate. So as you can see, the chocolate is now tempered, it's got a beautiful matte surface and it's now ready to use. So we now take the ganache centre, we drop it into the tempered couverture chocolate and using the dipping fork, we just press it under the chocolate so it's fully coated and carefully remove it with the fork and drop it in to the cocoa powder. And once it's in the cocoa powder, we just give it a little roll so it's fully coated. And then allow it to sit for maybe three to four minutes so the chocolate fully sets. Then we'll take them out, dust them off, and we'll start eating them. So now the chocolate is fully set on the exterior. Just plop them into a sieve. Just remove the excess cocoa powder. So there we are, a fresh, natural Guinness and blackcurrant truffles. Mm -hmm.